Hey, hey guys, this is LK. I'm here at Seattle Hemp Fest with the man himself, Keith Strop. Uh, again, thank you for that. The founder of Normal Guys. So. The world's oldest marijuana smoker. <laughs> <laughs> and so, what do you think of the event? It's, it's uh, bigger I, every I, year. I love the Hemp Fest. Uh, I, I made a special effort to come out again this year. I wasn't sure I was going to come, and I started thinking about it. I think I've been 14 of the last 15, and it is the world's largest pot festival and it is fabulous. I mean, I, I love the people, I love the event. Uh, I, I hope never to miss it. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Well, I know that uh, you've been to a few of them, so the crowd last yesterday, what did you think? It was oh, just crazy. massive, massive crowds. And uh, to think that it's pulled together by volunteers. If, if people think you can't still do effective political organizing on the local level, I mean, this is, I think their budget is something like a half a million dollars for this event. And it is totally run by volunteers. No one gets paid a time. And it is beautifully organized. So uh, Vivian McPeak and all the good po folks at HempFest, uh, you do great work. It's, uh, you make us proud as stoners. Uh, we really are finally winning this. It's not that we're tricking people. We have a majority of support in the entire country now that supports legalizing marijuana. When Normal was founded, Gallup Poll had just done their first question on legalization, and we only enjoy 12% support in the entire country. So uh, all that hard work people have done out there has paid off, folks. We yeah. won their hearts yeah. and minds. Yeah.